In a recent interview, Elon Musk detailed how they plan on opening up the supercharging network to third-party EVs in the United States. In case you weren't aware, they've already started doing this over in Europe and a few countries at limited scale, where essentially you just download the Tesla app and you plug in which stall you're at, and you can supercharge a non-Tesla at a supercharger, which may not sound like a big deal if you're coming from a gas car. You're like, oh, I can gas up my car anywhere, but it's honestly a much more complicated feature when it comes to charging EVs, when they have different voltages, different architectures, not to mention charge ports are placed in different places depending on the vehicle, and some charge stations have longer cables than others, so when Tesla mentioned last year that they were planning on opening up the supercharger network to all EVs, not just Tesla, there was a lot of confusion, and of course a lot of speculation on my part on how exactly they would do that. Now what Elon is saying is that they're going to be adding CCS connectors, which is basically what all non-Teslas use two supercharging stations so that you'll have basically two charge ports, a Tesla connector if you drive a Tesla and a CCS connector if you don't, which may sound more complicated and may add to the overall complexity of the charging network, but frankly, I think this is probably the best way of going about it, and I'll tell you why. Firstly, it allows them to scale up non-Tesla charging at their own pace, kind of in a fairly similar way to how they're doing it in Europe, like they didn't unlock every single supercharger at the same same time, they just started in the areas where superchargers were not getting super heavy use, because of course, the main concern a lot of Tesla owners have with opening up the supercharging network is there's already a lot of busyness, and in populated areas, you already have big, long lines of Teslas waiting to charge because there's a lot more Teslas on the road every single day, they're delivering at record volume, and also they're not able to scale supercharger deployments fast enough, so that results in there being lines and people waiting, and they're like, if I bought, you know, a hundred or a hundred and forty thousand dollar Tesla and then you went out to supercharge but you couldn't because there was some Chevy Bolt or Nissan Leaf already charging there. That would be quite frustrating and it would probably be a bad look and a bad taste in a lot of Tesla customers mouths. So if opening up the supercharging network is going to be dependent on where Tesla adds the CCS connectors, that way they can ensure that they don't let non-Teslas charge at super duper busy locations. So if it's preoccupied and constantly charging Tesla, Teslas and there's always wait times and long lines, they don't have to add CCS to those, at least right away. They can prioritize adding CCS to new supercharging stations or supercharging stations they know for a fact aren't that busy. You know, they have the analytics and the data to showcase like, yeah, these charge stations don't get used all that much. So adding some CCS connectors and letting non-Teslas charge there isn't going to bottleneck very much. It's also a much better solution than what I'm sure a lot of you have probably already suggested. Tesla should just sell adapters, right? So that anybody can just plug in a Tesla connector to a CCS plug and then all non-Teslas will be able to charge at any Tesla supercharging station. Because of all of the issues they've had with finding supply for the mobile connector, I'm not sure how feasible that is. And again, it would probably just be a lot more complicated uh, situation because you would have a bunch of people that are like, you know, I want to have an EV that can charge at any charge station and superchargers are really common. So they're going to pay big bucks to get a hold of that adapter, even if they're in limited supply. Tesla could, you know, know, artificially limit how many could sell as to not overwhelm the charging network, but again, you wouldn't have really preferential treatment or any kind of filtering to ensure that whoever's buying these adapters doesn't take them to the wrong stations, and it also does not fix the issue of a lot of EVs placing their charge ports in different locations, which means that for vehicles like a Porsche Taycan or even a Rivian, in order to charge at a supercharger, you may have to park in the stall next to the supercharger because the cables at superchargers aren't very long, and that means that a Rivian is actually occupying two stalls because that's the only way it can park and charge. Whereas if Tesla installs the CCS connectors themselves, they could address some of these problems. For one, by putting the superchargers directly behind the parking spaces so that even if you have an EV with the charge port in the front or the opposite side of a Tesla, the CCS cable will be long enough to reach the charge port and that non-Tesla doesn't have to occupy an adjacent parking space. Tesla could leave the length of the mobile connectors the same, but maybe if there's a CCS connector at the supercharger, make that one a whole lot longer so that no matter what you're charging at that supercharger, the cable can reach the EV without them having to park weirdly. And as we already see with the PS5 or Xbox Series X situation, when you have a lot of demand for something, like per se an adapter, and a lot of people willing to pay big money for it, you're going to have scalpers, you're going to have people that are buying up the adapter specifically just so that they can flip it and sell it for a profit 
it. That's not really a great situation either. And while this process may be very, very slow, I do think that this will be the easiest way to alleviate the problem we're in with this EV situation of all Teslas having Tesla connectors and everybody else using CCS, which I'm sure another big criticism that you guys are bringing up is why don't we just all use the same port, right? Why don't we just all use the same connector? That unfortunately is going to have to fall on the fault of the US government because when Tesla started mass producing EVs, there was no agreed upon fast charging standard. So they had to make their own connector. And also because Tesla was building more EVs and more charging stations than anyone else, they were moving at pretty high volume and deployed tons of superchargers and delivered lots of EVs with the Tesla connector. And of course they still are. Whereas in Europe, they agreed on a common standard a whole lot earlier so that all Teslas and all EVs there have the same charge connector. But now that there's literally millions of Teslas on the road with the Tesla connector, retrofitting all of those millions of customers with a CCS connector or providing them all with an adapter would be far more expensive and far more complicated than, ironically, the alternative, which would just be actually switch all non-Teslas to use the Tesla connector and switch all non-superchargers to use the Tesla connector because there's less charge stations and there's less non-Teslas on the road. It would actually be easier for everyone to adopt Tesla's standard, which is kind of funny. Knowing our current administration and how they kind of pretend Tesla doesn't exist half the time, I don't think there's a good chance of that happening, so it's quite a pickle, it's quite a predicament we're stuck in, and I know it will be frustrating and probably not as easy to understand, like a gas car you pretty much take to any gas station and fill up, you don't have to think about which gas station, but the good news is it shouldn't be more complicated than the two connectors. Pretty much everybody is agreeing on either CCS and Tesla, and similar to how when you go to a gas station there's basically three different types of fuel to choose from, you know, at least where I live you choose regular, medium, or premium, some places have diesel, and depending where you are in the country, there may be less or more options for gasoline when you go to a pump, it more or less may be the same kind of concept there. Like, in the future, you'll be able to go to any charge station, and the connector you need will be available. You'll just have to know that you either have a Tesla, so you grab the Tesla adapter or the Tesla connector, and if you don't have a Tesla, you grab the readily available CCS connector. So, I get it. It's a little complicated. It would have been better from the beginning if the U.S. government agreed on a common standard, but Tesla's approach I do think makes the most amount of sense for their current situation because trying to mass produce adapters for all the currently existing Tesla connectors and owners would be far more expensive and far more complicated and I think only enabling CCS superchargers at certain regions will prevent the issue of non-Teslas clogging up the charge network because honestly a lot of non-Teslas are slower charging so if they consume a lot more time at a supercharger that doesn't really fix the problem of there not being enough charge stations for Tesla owners so makes a lot of sense I'm glad to hear some clarification from Elon on this what do you guys think makes the most sense do you disagree with Tesla's approach just try to think about the cost the logistics and not to mention the chip shortage so you can't just have an infinite number of adapters for millions of people on tap all that good stuff let me know what you're thinking down below thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thank you take care and have a great day